Hello YouTube, this is Tyans, and I'll be going over a Fury guide for either PvP or PvE. It kind of works for both, but there are some slight changes, so I'm just going to call this a Fury guide. Um, first off, what I'm going to go through is my gear. Now, from last time, I now have the full Dreadful. Um, I have a Dreadful Net Piece, Malevolent Back Piece, and Malevolent Wrist. Weapons, I just got those. Um, I have Dreadful Trinkets, Malevolent Ring, and a Dreadful Ring, and the rest are... And have um, Dreadful Feet. So I only need to replace this, and I'll try to get that earlier on today. But that's my last piece, and then I could um, stop doing battlegrounds and start doing some arenas. Okay, so what you want to basically do is, for Fury, your main thing is you want to keep track of your enrage. So if you want to try and do some kind of burst damage, you're going to need to be enraged. If not, then... You can still do damage like with the recognition list and um, all your cooldowns, but Enrage is basically like a short cooldown. Well, not cooldown, but like a short burst. So, yeah. What you basically want to stack for PvP is obviously PvP power, and for PvE, mastery, and I guess hit. I'm not completely sure, I don't really find a difference for that. But yeah, that's what you want to stack um, for Fury, for PvP, and for PvE. And for. I'm going to get to that later. For Talents, um, I have Juggernauts for PvE for when you want to continuously get a charge up. And Second Wind just to keep you up. And for when you're standing, you need some rage. Um, staggering shout, just for an extra um, extra snare. Blade storm, just for the burst. Nice little flight. In case um, I see that someone's getting that. How do I put this? If I see that someone is not paying attention. And there's a big spell cast, like a Vegas thing while it's bursting, or a Warlock or something, then I'll just use that. If not, then I really don't use it that much. I just use Spell Effect. And Avatar just for the burst, obviously. Now, I did change my glyphs. I used to have it for Bloodthirst, Colossal Smash, and Death from Above. But now, I just have it to Raging Wind. I didn't. I had no idea about this glyph. Like, completely no idea. I was just looking through my glyphs because I had, like, some money to spend. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just, like, see if I can buy some stuff. So I bought some glyphs on my druid. And I'm a hunter. And then when I got to my warrior, I was just looking through them. And I was like, this is an awesome glyph. So I just took that. And... I still have Bull Rush to generate some more rage and death from above. And this is uh, Burning Anger. Not really that important, but yeah. If you don't know what Raging Wind does, your Raging Blow hits increase damage done by next Whirlwind. So if you do, let's say you get um, two Enrages, well, two, in, two Raging Blows. Then your damage from Whirlwind will be increased by 20%. And Whirlwind, it does 85%, so that will be 105%. Um, so that's pretty good, especially for AoE. And this just generates some more rage. And Death from Above, um, it's not one of my main things that I use for PvP or PvE. It's kind of just like. If I was doing something like I had to go and I needed to catch up with the group, I'll use Death from Above. And also, if like there's this one thing off to the side that the tank didn't realize, I'll just Death from Above, aggro it, and then I'll just let him. Then I'll just get it in his range, so he can do um, damage and stuff. 
And yeah. Now for the keybinds. Um I changed some of them, so most of them are the same. I'm just gonna uh, go over the ones I changed. Actually no, I'm gonna go over all of them. Q, I have Victory Rush, up, I have Heroic Sound Macro, E, I have Berserker Rage, R, I have my, um, defensive cooldowns, left, I have Shattering Throw, down, I have my Heal Macro, right, I have Intimidate Shot, F, I have Disarm, for Z, I have Thunder Clap, X, Whirlwind, and C, Cleave. Oh, that went by fast. For T, I have my Burst, for G, I have Heroic Cleave, for V, I have Blade Storm, Wheel up my um, two two-handed weapons in battle stance. Wheel down one-hander and shield and defensive stance. B5, which is the button right under the scroll wheel on the Razor Naga. I have my trinket and the one right up under that. I have staggering shout. Um, for my Mer for my Razor Naga, I have for one I have. What's that? Oh, he's fishing. Um, for one, I have my Claw Smash Macro, for two, just Bloodthirst, three, um, Intervene Slash Charge Macro, and it also does, um, Hamstring. For four, I have Raging Blow, for five, Thunderclap, for six, I have Whirlwind, I don't know why I have them in two places, but, I uh, just do. Um... For 7, I have Execute. For 8, I have Wall Strike. 9, Heroic Strike. Um, 0, Spell Effect Macro. Minus Sign, Pummel, and Equal Sign, Mass Spell Effect. Okay, so now, Rotation. What you want to do for PvP is, obviously, you want to get a charge up. So you just, so I press 3, twice, so that'll charge them and then they'll do the hamstring. Then I use um one for a colossal smash and then I get another sunder armor up. And then I use my bloodthirst and then I use another sunder armor. If my raging I use my raging well and wall strike whenever they park. And if not, then I'll just use rogue strike. And if there's more than four then um I just use bloodthirst, raging bow, and whirlwind. And obviously, when they get low enough, then use Execute. Um, if you need to push out a little bit more damage, use Berserker Rage. And if you're in a battleground and someone's bursting you, then use this on. And go to um, Defensive States. Because if someone's bursting you, then you're going to be taking a lot of damage. So you really don't want to just be sitting there with them disarmed because you could still do damage. Um I th that's basically it. Yeah, that is it. Um I will be making another video today because um I did want to put in this video but I realized that I already um, went over my expected time. I was trying to get this down to at least five minutes, and it's already like eight minutes. So I'm going to put in another video. Um, that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.